Well, a little interlude between the Cavs and Pacers series. There was uh, I had some days off in Indianapolis, and I went to Knightstown, Indiana. And Knightstown, Indiana is the home of the Hoosiers Gym. And if you've ever seen the movie Hoosiers, uh, one of my all-time favorite movies, came out in 1987. So I went into the gym, and of course you walk in, and Gene Hackman was the coach of that team, Coach Norman Dale. And it's like as you walk through that old gym with the stage at one end and the wooden benches, you could almost hear him saying what you told his players. I wonder if Tyron Lue ever says this to his players. My practices were not designed for your enjoyment. Because, of course, his first week that he practiced the players, they were not allowed to touch the ball. All they did was these defensive drills and conditioning and everything else. Um, I admit I have a very fondness for the movie Hoosiers. You know, there's kind of two basketball cultures. There's the inner city, you know, black asphalt, chain link uh, net on a half-moon backboard playground. And then there's also the... Uh, the rural area, there's, there's Jerry West shooting by himself on a dirt, um, a dirt surface with a basket on a uh, tree or a telephone pole. In fact, Del Curry and his son Stephen Curry, they used to play in rural Virginia on the very same thing. Uh, Del Curry talked about that, how uh, his father taught him to play and shoot, again, on a dirt surface with a basket nailed to a tree. Well, in fact, he took young Stefan down there to say, hey, this is how your daddy learned to play all these years in the NBA. So you have the rural and the city. What I loved about Hoosiers is it brought that rural basketball culture and just caught a certain element of it. It's set in 1951 where Hickory High then goes and wins the state championship because in Indiana at that time, uh, all the schools, big, little, and in between, were all playing just for one state title. It's not like now where most states have all these different divisions. And Norman Dale is a coach that comes into town, and, and Jimmy Chitwood is a star player. But you could go into this gym. You have to check on the website when it's open. It's free. It's just one a donation. You can buy some T-shirts. Built in 1921, right in the heart of Knightstown, which feels like it's still 1951. And you don't go a little bit outside of town, and there are those wide open fields, and you get that sunset, you know, the big sky effect over the flat area. And I was, saw that, too. And it really is just a, a startling landscape for this. And, of course, there's some wonderful actors. Uh, a couple of things I discovered. One was Gene Hackman almost turned down the role. Then when he took it, he thought it would be a career killer. In fact, at one point, Dennis Hopper, who was the, kind of the co-star of the movie with them, there's a scene where somebody took a picture of them and they were laughing. And it wasn't until later on the director said, Hackman said to Hopper, I hope you invested well because after this movie, neither one of us are ever going to get another part again. And he wasn't kidding. They didn't quite get where this was going. Jack Nicholson actually wanted the part that uh, Hackman took, but he was tied up in something else and he couldn't get it. Uh, you know, there's some other lines. There's a, there's a great, I always wonder if this would be good in an in in NBA huddle where Dennis Hopper is, is taking over as coach and all the players are looking at him, what play we're going to run. And Hopper goes, got to run the picket fence, going to run the picket fence, which is basically four guys setting a pick and one guy coming around shooting it. Uh, now in the NBA, half the time you see somebody comes out to set a pick and the player, like LeBron or some others, waves the guy away, get out of my way, I'm going to take on the whole world one-on-one. -on -one. I guess what I'm saying is this, if you happen to be going west on I-70, before you get to Indianapolis and you see a sign that says Knightstown, Hoosier's Gym, get off, drive the four miles, and just drive back about 70 years in time.